Hello and welcome to Roosevelt Rebel with your host Tisa Rebel Beltran. <laughs> All right, so election week, woot woot. So I did start a podcast earlier <laughs> in the week, but once again, those pesky kids. Just kidding. Um, I did start a podcast at the beginning of the week about how important it is to vote because two thirds of the population feel that they're of the age to vote feel that their vote doesn't count so they don't register to vote or they don't vote at all which is horrible in this time because we are a divided nation i'm looking at the map right now and there's so much red and blue in my state it's purple and we need to push to get that blue we need more blue and for some reason the native lands are voting red I don't know if that's, I don't know. What the fuck, Native Lands? What is going on with that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. Like, we, I'm nervous. I'm scared. This newscaster who is up with Trump and conspiracy theories is saying that if she does not if she does not win, she's going to not, <laughs> she's going to fight it. She's crazy. Oh my God. I don't know what happened. And if you know anything about what's going on with that, she used to hang out with drag queens. She used to hang out with Barbara Seville. You know who Barbara Seville is? If you're in Arizona, you should, because she's been around forever. Um, she has been around forever. She is a drag queen that's hosted very many shows throughout the decades. Um, she, I know her from uh, being a customer <laughs> at Movies on Central, the video store that was back in the day on Central and Highland and um, 4700 North Central. And I believe that was the address. And uh, she would come in and she was friends of the owner. Robert. And so like, that's how I remember her mostly was from video stores. And of course now, not like just then when I was like a child, when I first started working there, that's how I met her. And as, uh, now, you know, I know her differently, but so yeah, uh, Carrie Lake is against drag queen. She's against the gays. She's against everything. Um, but she used to hang out with drag queens. She used to fucking have a good time. She was friends with freaking Barbara Seville. Um, they worked together at the news station. So, and then now she's flipped a fucking big old fucking 180, 1200 times because like that's crazy shit where she's like crazy, like up with the conspiracies like okay there's some conspiracies that i'm like okay cool you know yeah i understand i can see where you're coming from but then she's like the election was stolen she's on that train she's on that kool-aid she's on the fucking red kool-aid train um so that's what's going on with that and right now i'm looking at the results and i'm just waiting and waiting the results are not in yet they haven't called it and i'll give you more information in one sec i need to finish this case so I can go on my break. Once again, I'm at work. What do I do? All I do is work. One moment, please. All right. Hello. I am back. It was just a quick little finish these damn notes. Um, and now I'm on my break. So I'm going to get as much in as I can before I have to go back in. So, um, Katie Hobbs, she is a very big ally of the gay community. She hangs out with uh, us queers and stuff. So she's definitely, you know, but you know what? You can't even say that because you remember who else was on our side and then she changed. We're not going to even name her right now. She is in the pockets. <laughs> okay. I'll whisper it if you can hear me. Kristen said did you hear that? Yeah, Chris and Cinema. I'm not gonna fucking. I'm gonna fucking raise my wrist, my fist to the fucking cloud to be like Chris and Cinema. She was for us, and her bisexual ass is like n- voting horribly, not for anything that she promised us. And all his gays were for her, and we fucking voted her in. And then she changed and flipped her ass on us for the money because that's what it is. I don't see her ass in the community anymore. Freaking a. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, so hopefully she doesn't do a Katie or uh, Kristen Cinema on us. Katie Hobbs is ahead right now, according to the Google election results. It is saying that she's ahead. She's at fifty point three percent at nine hundred and fifty three thousand seven hundred and eighty three. Carrie Lake is at forty nine point seven percent at nine hundred and forty thousand seven hundred and sixteen. And she it was really close at one point. It was like three thousand. They were separated by only three thousand. And that's when I started praying and I don't pray. I am <laughs> my I was like, please Lord Jesus, please do not let this woman win. And then now she's, uh, uh, and then it was like, she's up ahead 8,000 at, at dinner yesterday. And then now she's up ahead 13,000. I can give you the exact amount because it is very close and I could do math. <laughs> it is 13,060. Wait. You have to take away. It's not 60. That's a seven. Yes, yeah, 67. So 13,067. She's ahead. Did I just do math? I hope I did it right because then I'll be looking like a fool. So anyways, um, so here I am just waiting for Katie Hobbs to get called, but they haven't called it yet. This is updated from 7.58 yesterday. Refresh. Come on. There has to be new. There's no updates. This is from yesterday still. So Mark Kelly is at 51.4%. He's running for Senate. Uh, and thank God that he's ahead by almost a, or over almost, almost a hundred thousand against Blake Masters, this little wet behind the ears, disgusting. He scares me looking kid. Like he's probably my age or younger. I don't know, but this dude does not need to be anywhere near. I don't know why the Republicans are having people who aren't even have any experience in politics and they're just like yeah i'm just gonna fucking do this and they're like so aggressive and so not what our state needs at all i really want to know why the <laughs> i'm going back on it the native countries counties uh oh oh my god excuse me there's the on voted for mofo Oh my god, I just want to go and interview people now and be like, yo. Like, if you look at the map, go to Google, type in Arizona election results 2022, and then look at the fucking Arizona map. It is big, <laughs> bigly divided. Like, throw the, if it was like a puzzle piece and you fucking threw the red on one side and the blue on the other, it's a half and half literal. Fucking scary. But, so, Mark Kelly's definitely looking like the winner, chicken dinner. And then the ballot measures, so far I'm so scared because we have the uh, Proposition 308 that allows financial aid for college students, regardless of their immigration status on here. That's the one that I am rooting for the hardest because it's at 50.8% right now. So all the DACA students, you know, DACA people living here, which DACA is put on hold or whatever the fuck they're doing with that, um, is, you know, Letting them go to school for financial aid. They were going, they're going to school right now at 300% of the cost. So this will let them have financial aid for in state instead of bullshit because it's even more than out of state tuition. God. And you know what? Tuition is illegal anyway because it's supposed to be affordable. School is supposed to be affordable. My friend who is a judge. She was like, messaged me and was like, you know, that financial aid and tuition are illegal the way that, and I was like, I know. And she sent me the information, the constitution saying that it needs to be affordable, that everybody should be able to afford to go to school, but it is not. Who the fuck can afford to go to school? I can't. I'm still fucking trying. I'm, I'm out of school for a whole fucking year because I have to wait until I can't use my wife's information to go to school because we are still legally married you guys and i'm not going to get into it that's personal but yeah i just want 
everybody to go to school fairly. But you know what? They're like, well, we've got to keep the people uneducated. School, for me, is the easiest thing. It's just basically teaching you how to interact with other people. It's kind of like you're being... <laughs> You're on the spectrum, as I am. And they're just like teaching you how to be, uh, talk to other people because the knowledge really isn't because you learn on the job most of the time. So, like, you just have a hint of the knowledge when you're going to school and then you basically learn. See, this is why uh, <laughs> when I go on a tangent in Germany, they don't have college, they have trade schools. And I did a whole ass episode when I interviewed it interviewed it oh jesus when i interviewed sabrina sabrina vagina who you may know from episodes such as shot about it the little drunken friend who likes the smell of grass <laughs> just i love her i hate her she's my stupid friend but anyway so yeah if we can learn anything about schooling we should learn from germany because they're hardcore on it. And if you're good at sports and stuff, <laughs> then they go to the Olympics. But we're talking about Arizona right now. But I'm really hoping that it continues. It's at 70% reporting from yesterday. There's no updates yet. It's almost noon here. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping that it goes our way because we cannot do this anymore. Douchey, Governor Douchey. Ugh. He was fucking horrible during the pandemic. No one's heard anything from him since because he's a piece of fuck. That's what I'm saying. Fuck is usually good, but this time he's bad fuck. You know that bad fuck that you get where the sex is disgusting. You don't even come or the person is just all about themselves and they're like, I'm getting off. I got off. Now I'm done. And now you are just sitting there. Oh, I'm bored with you. Fuck you. I'm fucking. It's like, you know, horrible sex. He didn't do shit for us. He's a fuck. A bad fuck. Okay, I'm going to take a drink of coffee. One moment, please. And then you're going to hear me slurpy slurp. It is cold here. I'm going to tell you that right now. In AZ, the weather is frightful for us Arizonans who were in the desert. So we're going to stop talking about the election right now because that's all I can got to say about that. Um, and the weather right now is in my room is freezing, but it is saying it's 63 outside. It's 47% humidity. And I am frozen like for real. And I'm going to look at, because this weekend is the annual girls trip. Poo poo. Whoop dee woo. So this weekend in uh, Prescott, are we freezing our asses off? Yes, we are. Whoop whoop. Oh my god. So it's only going to be 54 and the low is going to be 28. And I'm going to have to. I, I really don't have much warm clothes because <clears throat> um, I did buy a bunch of clothes when I was in Colorado and they're. And they are in my closet. I do have warm clothes, but warm clothes that fit. Because sitting here on my ass for the past over a year now, working from home, um, I've put on some weight, but not really. I've lost weight. So I need to fucking weigh myself to see what it looks like. But I've, I don't know. I'm weighing the same, but my inches, like my muscles basically turned into fat. And that's horrible right now. So I'm like having a lot of body dysmorphia, but I'm working on it. And I have a whole plan. And like, I go, like I start going to the gym and then something happens and I can't go. And so, you know, you have to make a habit of it. But when you make a habit of it and then something bad happens or something happens and you can't go, then that breaks the, the cycle. And then you're like, fuck, I can't go to the gym today because I have this family issue that needs to be taken care of. And then you can't go. And then you're like, the next day you're like, oh my God, I can't go because, you know, whatever. So I am going to be trying to get back into this and like, I've started up and do good for like a month and then something happens, like my dad getting sick, my mom getting sick, something fucking happens. And then I am unable to continue going to the gym, but I really try, try, I really try. And so I'm like needing to get out of this cycle that, um, that's going on. But, um, so I basically I weigh the same, but I, my muscle is turned into flab. And that's like the most horrible part when you have been always physically active your whole life. And then the pandemic took away that fucking from you. And 
and that sucks. Like since the pandemic, I'm sure many of people have have in my situation where they used to be physically active and then they get sent to work from home. And then my gym, because of the pandemic, they're not open 24 hours like they used to be. They are open only until like 9, 10, or 11, depending on the day. And I get off work at 7.30 and then my dad needs me or something. Like on my days off, I am good to go. I go to the gym. But then I can't because I'm working shifts that are like long and So anyways, I'm up for a position at work that hopefully, which I don't know if I'm still going to be keeping the the 10 hour shifts or if I'm going back to uh, eight hour shifts. Either way, I'm up for a position. We'll see what happens. Um, It's within the same department. We'll see what happens. I don't even know if it's more money. I don't know anything. All I know is that uh, I need to be off the phones because I'm sick of people. (laughs) Okay. I spend my days on the phones teaching people how to use their apps. And mostly that's how long the things are. It takes that long. Um, I'm at, And then in my downtime, that's what I'm doing with my dad. I'm like teaching him how to use his phone. So hopefully if I get this position, then I won't be doing it. Um, having to, to do that. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but I do have new merch and for, um, see shot about it is the show <laughs> with the merch because that's where a lot, a lot of our, I think I just need to make, I think, okay. So the shot about it logo is pretty cute. I made it up. It's cute. The Roosevelt rebel. I, I enjoy it too. I don't know. I think I need to work on some more merch ideas. But there is a new hat available for a shot about it. And uh, so that'll be coming out soon. I only got one just to see what it'll look like. And now I'm going to order fucking um, a more. And then there is the regular hat of a uh, shot about it. There is a regular freaking mesh hat, mesh trucker hat for shot about it. If you're interested in getting one, um, they're 25 bucks. I And I think there's like four left. So I'll take a picture of it and post it on the page today. So today I'm going to take a picture of the two hats. And then I'm also going to take a picture of the, um, cause that might be a, yeah, I'm going to look at pricing. Um, the two hats and the stickers that I still have, um, for shot about it. And I'm going to like look into doing more merch. And I know I've been slacking on fucking podcasts and I need to get my ass back together into it. Uh, but as I, you hear, like so many things have been going on. Um, oh, I know that was in the, the podcast that I didn't post because I accidentally did something. So anyways, so every day has been fucking, fucking slammed as fuck. And, uh, October has been insane for me. Insane. Every day has been something since October 1st. And, uh, you know, the first weekend it was, uh, f- that Friday I went to dinner with my friend at Aftermath, which is delicious. The next day I went to the movies with a friend. Then the next day it was witchcrafted with my sister-in-law and the, and the boys and Dill. And then the next weekend was, um, we, uh, decorations and cleaning the yard. And then the next day was park and swap. And then that week, oh yeah. And it was Jerry's birthday and we did spaghetti factory. Then the following week was pride weekend, but I didn't do anything on that Friday. I just relaxed. But the next day was my Nino's funeral and then a quinceanera. And then I stayed over at Candace's house that night. And then, um, the next day I went and visited my friend getting tattooed by Ivy. The following weekend was little Nas X. And then the next day I went to Costco and Gar- Costco with Michael and Dylan. The next day it was, was Jesse Reyes and we went to Olive Garden. Then the following weekend was fucking blue October and went to st- boycott and stacy's and then the day of the dead was sunday for the celebration and then um this past weekend was the pagan i went to candace's on friday then the pagan festival on saturday and then sunday went to mayhem at the rock and lunch at red devil and then this weekend is girls weekend so every weekend is something and then monday through friday when monday through thursday when i work it is just you know 10 hour shifts it's rough I wake up, I go to work, I can't fall asleep until late, and my 
gym closes, so I need to get my shit together. And then, like, there's something every weekend. And then, yeah, so this weekend's girl, girls' weekend. The next weekend, I already have uh, my friend's kid's birthday party. So everything is just going so many things every weekend when the holidays happen. October through December booked. So I'm going to try my hardest, you guys. I love you guys, and I will be trying to get on here. So please check out Instagram, underscore, rebel, underscore, riot, underscore. And then um, Rebel Riot LLC on Facebook. I also do some, not really often, TikToks on Rebel Riot. Um, under, OG underscore TR Baltron is mostly where I post because that's where I'm at. So go ahead. Please check out all those platforms. Search for me. Love me. Let me know what I'm doing. Let me know everything. I love you guys. I'm going to be posting um, the picture soon. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Tisa Beltran, and I appreciate you for listening all over the world. Uh, please tune in next time on Roosevelt Rebel. Bye-bye.